All righty, so it's um, 1035. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay. So welcome to ImageQuick's Photo Links. Today I'm going to be going over Plitbooks. And I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so pretty much what is Plitbooks? Plitbooks is our hooked in with our photo links image cloud. You can design your yearbook or you can have your, the schools design their yearbook with our tools and it's forward moving, it's futuristic um, and pretty much everyone loves it. One thing that you don't have to worry about are the computer specs. Um, that's one of the biggest things when you have software being installed on your computer, you have to make sure you have the right specs. With Plick, any of our Plick apps, Plick books, you do not have to worry about computer specs. You do wanna make sure you have um, a good internet connection because it is online based and web based. Um, one thing that um, a lot of our customers love is that you can you know, get the book started and pass that book along to your school and they can manage and design the books themselves. Um, we have online sales, which is going very well for both our customers and PhotoLinks ImageQuicks. We have ads that they can manage. They can purchase ads or personal uh, personalizations um, of their books online as well. And you can do much more with that. Uh, so like I said, ClickBooks is web-based. That means that it's gonna be in sync and it's always going to be up to date. Um, why ClickBooks? Um, for me, my reasons for ClickBooks is it's straightforward, it's easy. Um, you can get in there and teach that school secretary or the yearbook advisor uh, quickly how to use ClickBooks. And then the yearbook advisor can teach students how to use ClickBooks easily as well. Um, it's guarded. Um, you don't have to worry about anybody getting in there, um, looking at things that they shouldn't be looking at or um, you know, any hacks or anything like that. It's well guarded. And like I said before, it is web-based. Um, you can work from anywhere. You can work from home on the yearbook. You can work at the office. Um, some people like to go to Starbucks or um, Dunkin' Donuts to work on their uh, yearbooks. So that's a huge plus for me. You know, I like to, I, I love working from home since the pandemic. So I can work on um, any yearbook or any of the um, pages that I need to. So for plate books, it's three simple steps. You upload the subjects, you design your book, and voila, you send it to the print and you have your book. Um, it, you can um, have hardback, saddle stitch, um, any kind of book that you want, as long as you have the specs, you put it in there and put the specs in and you'll be able to get whatever book you want. I see, um, you know, the big books, I see the um, horizontal books, any kind of books, pretty much click books can handle. Um, one thing that's super exciting um, is the shopping cart. We have, you can do manual and online transactions. Uh, you can manage sales of ads, uh, shipping, taxes. And one huge thing that I love that we have incorporated is the adopt a book. Um, one thing that I love about our company is we are always into giving back. Um, and we want to give other people the opportunity to give back as well. Um, so we created that adopt a book where a parent can go in and if they feel um, giving, they can uh, pay for a book for another student um, who won't receive a book. And it's just trying to uh, make sure no child is left behind without uh, receiving a book. I do remember as a kid, when I was young, um, I never received a yearbook because my parents weren't into paying for that yearbook. But it really meant a lot to me. By the time I got to high school, my high school included the yearbooks and I didn't realize how important um, a child having a yearbook was. So that's one thing that I would like to highlight. Um, with the shopping cart, if you wanna know more information, um, that's gonna be the next demo. So if you wanna see it in depth, um, make sure you stick around for our next demo. Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you exactly how ClickBooks um, looks, the interface, how it works. And I'm just gonna let the video play and I'm gonna speak over the video 
to let you know what's going on. So as soon as I start the video, um, I'm gonna go to yearbooks and I'm gonna go ahead and create a project. When I create this project, I can choose to create a new school and I'll go ahead and you know name my school. Um, you don't have to really worry about any of the other information that stuff's gonna be filled out for you. Um, you will create a user. If you want your school to have a user, um, this is where you'll create that at and then they will receive an email um, to sign into their book and create a password. Okay, so once I created my book, um, I'll name my yearbook. And, you know, I have my season here. And pretty much all of that information is filled out. We do have our yearbook settings. Um, I'm gonna choose that I want this to be a high school based yearbook. You can choose to hide your pages, any of those, you know, covers being locked, black and white. And you can choose for it to be a demo project. You do wanna choose the number of pages and it needs to be in um, multiples of four. You don't have to necessarily put the copy of prints, but it's a good idea to put something there. Okay, so right now I'm gonna be uploading my subjects. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose my folder, choose a folder of images that I have. Okay, and then these are my subjects here. Okay, so it shows the image and how it's connected to the subject. It shows the field names and any information that you would like to upload there. I'm just gonna click start uploading because I know my information is correct. Usually when people come into Plickbooks to upload their information, um, it's already done. It's been through production and everything. Everything's been finalized. So this is where I'm at now from uploading my subjects. Next. It'll let me know I'm done. I can go back to yearbooks. And this is what subject management looks like. Sorry about that. Subject management is where all your subjects are maintained. You can see the different batches at the top. I'm gonna, um, you can do it by teacher grade. Right now it's already, you know, just showing you the different ones that are in here. You can even do a custom and do it by project if you want everyone on the same page. Um, it's your world. You can do whatever you want in Plickbooks uh, when it comes to the subjects. As long as it's in the data, you can match it. So right now I just changed it by teacher. So I have the different teacher names up here. One thing that I would like to highlight is this, um, and I'll pause on that part. One thing I like to highlight is this little exclamation point that just shows that um, the image is not at an eight by 10 crop ratio, which is a PSPA standard requirement um, for the images to be um, at an eight by 10 crop ratio. You can change that in the book, um, or you can click on the image here in the edit and change that to an eight by 10 crop ratio. So you can crop right here inside of Plickbooks for that subject that does not have the eight by 10 crop ratio. Well, I'll go ahead and continue and let it play. Okay, these are the different teachers with the different students in their classroom. We also have a trash can just in case the students do not um, belong in any of the classrooms or they don't go to the school anymore. Now we're going right into the book so you can see what that looks like. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose my theme. I like this theme down at the bottom. I'm just gonna drag and drop that theme on there. I'm gonna get rid of the school yearbook. I don't need that there. I'm gonna type the title into the title block area there. And you don't have to type it there. That's just where you know it said to type it here. I'm gonna choose to type that in there. So once I get that typed in, I place it, line it up the way I want to. And then you can go into the next part of the book. Okay, so I type in my school model on the page. You can type in whatever you want on the title page. Um, you can make it as big as you want. These are the uh, font settings. Um, we do use Google fonts. So if the fonts are 
in Google, those are available to you. Um, if you were using a different font from um, your computer that you would like to use um, and Google doesn't support it, you can find one that is similar to what you're using and add it. Okay, these are the different class layouts. You can drag the class layout on the page before you um, add the class or you can just drag the class on the page. It really doesn't matter. So right there, I'm just gonna add my students. Okay, and one thing that I love about this is if you have multiple classes, um, like the teacher teaches Tuesday morning and then you have, they should have a Tuesday afternoon class, they can do that there and they can add all of their classes on the same page. So here's where I can change the crop of that photo and make it an eight by 10 crop ratio. It shows, it doesn't show red anymore and it's fixed. So we do have clip art in there. You can use whatever clip art you like or you can create your own album. So for the clip art as well, it's gonna be drag and drop. You pick it up, click it and drag it to wherever you want to drop that. So we have many different selections here. Okay. All right, you can lock the book. You can clear the theme. If you don't like that theme, you can save a layout. If you have a specific layout that you like, and then you can render just a page. Um, when rendering just a page, you know, it just um, sends a PDF of that page. So if you wanna make some adjustments, you can. Okay, so you can click through the pages down to the bottom or you can type in exactly where you would like to go. One thing that I'm doing right now is gonna upload some candid photos. So I'm gonna let it speed through this process of uploading the photos. And then once I get back into my book, Okay, so I'll drag my collage over and then I'm able to choose some images that I would like to add. I'm just gonna choose just a few. Okay, so one thing that you'll have to do is go in and adjust the images if you would like to use the um, collage setting or you can just drag and drop your images wherever you want them to go. So I'll go ahead and choose a few more on the other side. Okay, so I have my images here. You can move them around if you would like, but I'm just gonna keep these, use it for instructional purposes only. I'm gonna add an autograph page to the back and also an um, index page. One thing I love about our index page is one thing that we are big on again is no child left behind. Um, we don't want a kid to miss out on being um, not being in the yearbook. So we definitely want to add that index and it will let this parent know what page they are on the index. Right now I'm just moving the pages around. You can move the pages around from here. You can also render the book from here. I'll go back to the end and pause it. Okay, so um, one thing that you can do, like I said, was render the book. Um, you can also do a proof, generate a proof, and then finalize and submit. When you're finished with the book, you'll finalize and submit it, or your um, school will finalize and submit their book, and it will send them a PDF of what the book looks like through email. Um, and then another thing that they can, um, once it's finalized and submitted, it locks the book for them, um, so nobody can make any more changes but one thing that the photographers or the publishers have is that they can't unlock, unlock the book for their customers if they need to. So you don't have to worry about, oh, last minute changes. Uh, once the book is locked, that doesn't mean that it's over in the end. You can't unlock that book. Um, that's just a little quick view of click books. Okay. Alrighty, so let's check out some numbers. Um, we know that last year was um, a crazy year. And even though we were in the pandemic, there were 4,446 books submitted. Um, 
And that's that's huge because a lot of schools got let out. A lot of schools didn't get to finish their books, but yet and still we were able to um, have over 4,000 books submitted during the pandemic. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lot more because of um, the ease of it, being able to work from home with it. Um, you know, a photographer or a publisher can send it to um, a school and the secretary can be working from home and still get those uh, books submitted. We do have, have it to where a parents can submit photos as well. So, um, you know, it just makes it even easier to get those books out, you know, get it to the publisher and then they can choose to have that book delivered um, to their doorstep or delivered to the school and, you know, the parents come to the school and pick out, uh, pick it up. 